new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and Jerry district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And I was thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best, if you catch my meaning. I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still... It is still technically illegal. But if there were less Peggy's around, because they tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Cross Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have a patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of being a little touched. Well, what you're waiting for? Get moving. All right, I'm Ever since those religious freaks came to town, it's been hard to get decent conditions. So, dark working together, huh? Kids been all over the world, but does it seem... ...didn't learn much except how to blow things up. Uh, if he pitches any harebrained schemes and falls... Best to ignore. Where's the beer? 
I've seen the world do. Because it's just another Tuesday. America's no.
those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. And acted independently. They will be found and they will be dealt with accordingly. Please understand What's that there the is no threat to Eden's gate or the family. Them as well. I understand now your glorious purpose.
is Italian. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. He gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given purpose. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. He would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. You must have faith. Let go. Let your faith be your guide. Leap. I will give you purpose. I will set you free.
Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest. This is Virgil Minkler speaking. Anyone looking for- We all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. You're not like the others. Jump on that wall! Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Well, you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time. 
Any problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was going to retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you going to introduce us, or are we just going to stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. Oh, well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. How you doing? Smart work at the jail, Deputy. Deputy, none of my Rook, business, but I'm going to ask Virgil. They know the places we, we need to start. We got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river, and it sounds like she's called in the chosen. Preston weak from the cult shackles. Thank you. Nice to see you. Cougar HQ is still in one piece. Well, out of our league here with weapons. Peggy's have had heavy caliber guns all along. We got rifles and shotguns. Over here. Come here a sec, Rook. How you making out? My granddad taught me to shoot when I was six. Never thought I'd be aiming at another human being. What world are we in? Over here. We're supposed to be safe in here, but I kind of feel like fate's pretty happy to have all of us trapped in one place. Come here a sec, Rook. Gonna be honest, never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. Makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there. Swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people. But they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. 
We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? Don't know how much my more wife. can hold out here. How you making out, cowboy? Taught me the darn hey. socks. There's a skill I've been using a lot lately. Hey, girlfriend. Pretty Got a job hey, kid. Doing. The resistance just picked up a load of new gear. Give it a look next time you're at the shop. Whatever you do, don't.
the bliss. Who'd have thought the old prison would become a holdout for the resistance? <laughs> Your sheriff seems to know what he's doing, though. Tracy, I've seen around. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil, well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. Do what you can to help him out. I'll be in touch. Can prison walls keep Faith out? She's a damn ghost. Your old man. I got everyone wearing your team by the Go Cougars! People gotta stay free, thank you. And the poison and everything. Well, I aim to stop the kiddo. You watch. Glad to see you, Deputy. You know much about Bliss? We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now. A cougar. We're a team that helps each other. And I need your help right now, Deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking water. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? This was tribal land before the ranchers and government split it up. Now we got Ethan's case. So wonder if there's any animals. Hello there, Missy. We're supposed to be safe in here, but I kind of feel like Faith's pretty happy to have an officer of the law. Hey, man. How are you? Howdy, miss. Hey, girl. Thanks for the good... Fine, at the jail. Good to see you. Time to get to work, Rook. Good Last two days, we've had a few me. people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands, and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Heard you were involved in that big fight at the jail. Deputies on the way, I want the air. Waves open for support. Copy that. We're monitoring all Peggy Channel. Relay to me what you find. You got it, Sheriff. No one else is going missing on my watch. Ain't exactly the Alamo, is it? Yep. How do, ma'am? Hey, girl. Settle down now! You hanging in there, hon? Hey, hon, nice to see you. You're gonna see some strokes. Rookie, I got a job you're gonna like. I hope. 
hope you haven't come. Hey, to walk rookie. Pilgrimage. Ready for some action? This is hey. not where I thought I'd be. Sorry about my before. Days on Earth. Wasn't cool. Ask anyone here. I do tough really good, but the rest, well, I'm working on it. So, restart. Welcome. You'll like the team we got. Everyone's strong, and we need to be with what's beyond those walls. I hope Earl's right about you. We've all been trying to figure out how to crush Eden's gate. You ask me, it starts with faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. Faith sees everything that happens in the Henbane River. Good shooting and defending the jail, Rook. Ain't exactly the Alamo, is it? Sure. for these brain-dead cultists at the trailer park. Hell yeah, shark! Your hard work paid off. We got the jail back. We're supposed to be safe in here, but I kind of feel like Fate's pretty happy to have all of us trapped in one place. First time I ever hunted was with a BB gun. I saw this bullfrog How you doing, miss? under a shrub. How do? I shot him. Never forget the gun. Transports. These people are using those trucks and boats to ship it all over Hope County. You'd be doing a lot of good if you destroy any more you find. I say if these folks are making something that kills people, well, they deserve whatever killing comes to their door. If you get my meaning.
Another day in Montana. I can't wait to put a bullet through Faith's skull. <clears throat> here to arrest me? Cool. Sorry. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Shark. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my PO, or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but... Who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send off to disco heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um... I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down. This place looks something out of a bag.
Heading to you, sweetie. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels. during the day.
great minds think alike. Get this thing in here. You've been invited into our...